What's going on, YouTube? We're back here with what might be my new favorite deck. And when I say that, I actually mean it, and it's not Cap. So, uh, yeah, just saying. Uh, anyway, this is a deck that I've showcased on the channel several times before. People really liked it a lot. Uh, the main deck is basically the same list from when I did the deck profile on it back in, like, December sometime. I don't remember. Uh, I think that this 40 has proven consistently to just be the perfect like balance i don't know exactly why there's some weird stuff in there i know but um it's tested the best out of like every build and every like permutation and variation and whatnot so i'm pretty much just sticking with this 40 what i really need to do now is like grind with the deck because as you're going to see from the replays that i have today i'm still very like non-practiced with this deck i make a ton of like cringe misplays and whatnot and I kind of consistently have this issue with decks where I think I build decks that are a little bit too, like, big brain complex for for my, like, technical skill level to pilot it properly. I really just need to find some, like, James Arc level player that just let me build decks for them and then they can pilot them. Because I always have to spend, like, months and months trying to, trying to like, figure out every little interaction and, and, like, optimal play in every situation with all of my decks. Um, and it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but... Uh, yeah, for now, we're going to be grinding with this deck for a while, because I hope to maybe uh, do something with it later in terms of bringing it to an event. Um, like I said, very, very, like, undefined at this point, given how early it is, and I don't really plan on playing in Ribbit 1 either. I don't know if I've said that before, but I kind of have a conflict that weekend and just got, like, my invite anyway, so don't really need to. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's just jump into the replays. Okay, so first one... This was against some Bayou Turbo player, I think. They were on main deck Vortex, which is a little weird. So I kind of want to get through these quick, because uh, this is like my fourth time trying to record this. I had this weird issue with my audio that kept happening, um, which is not good. But this game, uh, I was kind of crazy with my mind control there, because often they'll try to bait you uh, in situations like that. But I just sort of went for it, and it turned out fine. So I guess, like, I guess that's good. Uh, in this situation, I think Stardust with Mirror Book of Moon should be, like, a really, really intimidating board. But my opponent actually has a ton of gas. Like, they have Caius, they have Plague, they have Brain Control. Um, and then they Vortex my one Greffer. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Um, honestly, that may have been a mistake. Because like, they could have just, like, gone Caius to get rid of my Stardust. Or gone Dark End to get rid of my Stardust. But then they don't, and then they just die because they didn't get rid of my Stardust, so... I think game one would have been like winnable for them uh, if they had played a little more, a little bit more aggressively there. Game two, my hand's a little bit better, but uh, he's gonna set his whole hand, and my dash to dust shoot's just gonna be dead. So that that's a feels bad. I decided to just set the Kree, do nothing because I want to force out the solemn before I like commit to a play. Uh, so I succeed in doing so. I go Rhoda, so I can steal his Greffer again and then use his own Greffer again, um, which is I guess becoming a theme in these games. <laughs> Uh, we make another Stardust, and then we summon the Card Trooper to get the Level Eater to the grave. We build Dandy, which is a little awkward, because I wanted to bring back Level Eater in Maui, potentially go for Lethal. But it's not going to matter, because he's like Raikou and Deep Prison. Um, if I were him, I'd have used the Deep Prison out to Stardust, because he doesn't have another out to that Stardust. Um, this Brain Control is, in fact, not an out to Stardust, because he has no way to convert, and honestly, he just shouldn't have used Brain Control like that. Um, this turn, we have the Maui Level Eater, like me. I, I don't even know if I should have brought out Maui here. I was just, like, pressing all my buttons at once or something, but it's not going to matter. And I put it in defense, too, because just, like, if we're going to try to force for a game, we should put it in offense mode, but... Offense mode. Attack mode. Um, but, yeah, it's not going to matter. Opponent doesn't have anything, so... We're going to swiftly 2-0 that one. Uh, this game, we get to see uh, some more misplays. Well, in game number one, my only misplay was I didn't scoop immediately after getting dust shooted with a hand this bad. Uh, if I was in a tournament, I would 100% uh, probably just concede there to hide information, I think. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just gonna get a absolutely rolled over this game. I don't even know if I need to show the whole thing. We're just like, we're down bad. We're down real, 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 real bad. Opponents got, they, they've just got everything they could want, and we have still nothing. So, okay, we draw Stratos, I guess. But we're, we're, it, we're so far behind. Like, it's just not happening in this game. Uh, we get our Stratos deprisoned, and yeah, this is, uh, this should be the end. We get oppressions. We have to go for like a really bad torrential, well, not a bad torrential necessarily, but we're we're down like a bajillion cards, so it's it's not going to matter. He's the true native go for game here, and that's going to be the end of that one. So 
there's kind of nothing we could do in game number one there. Uh, game number two uh, is a non-game in the other direction uh, because there's actually just nothing he can do here with how insane I've opened. Um, we do drop the trag, I think, and then we top deck like Lone Fire under the decree and we just run over everything for free completely. So pretty good, pretty good. Here he's got to commit like four cards in order to out two cards, which is just uh, really, really not good for, for the opponent, but I think it was the best play they had. Uh, they go, they get rid of the decree. I think I just end up brain controlling and... Um, my he only d prisons one of these and then the other d prison gets Caius, which he maybe should have used the other d prison anyway because you're like you know it's Caius probably um so he's just dead to sidra here like shouldn't yeah i i set sidra over the token go for fortress he dies uh game three is the game that i feel like i punted um so we start off we know it's to koichi but we just force the back row. We find Dushu, which is pretty good in this situation. I decide to hold it till after he uses the Dekoichi, just in case I shuffle something back and then he just draws another good monster. Um, that would kind of suck. So here we're playing kind of safe because we've seen Mirror, Torrential, whatever. But we're still in a pretty good spot. Opponent, he draws Judgment, so no longer is heavy off the top of Wincon for me, unfortunately. Um, but he does use it here immediately. So now I feel like I should just win next turn. But I like sequenced things really, really wrong. And it just it just like played terribly on this next turn. And it ends up losing me the game. So I I should have just like summoned side draw, honestly. And he would have been forced to torrential or, or something. I don't know. Uh I don't actually that's that's not even the right way to do it. I don't I don't I don't recall what the exact right play was, but I, what I did was just really wrong in somehow and somehow and uh, I don't know. I should have had like a lethal line or, or something better than this at some point there, for sure. And we just end up losing because of uh, the weird ass way we played that turn. So yeah, and opponent rips future fusion and presumably does a bunch of damage with Jinzo and Jinzo Returner. Okay, uh, definitely felt bad about that one, but whatever. We go to the third and final match that I have, which is against Maki. This match is great because we're both misplaying all over the place. Uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun in that sense. Uh, I ripped the dasher to make the D-draw live. Opponent goes, flip the hamster attack. I, okay, I used the goat because I wanted to just rota for Stratus into Plasma. Makes sense, makes sense. He kills one of them. So I do mind control the one that I know to be Raikou to get rid of his back row so they don't have to worry about anything. So I can just summon Plasma and take his guy, and then we're chilling. Unfortunately, this was a Sangan, so he gets to search. Um, now here, you'll see that I, like, make some really strange play where at any point here, I could have pretty much um, used Book to reset my Plasma and just take his guy while it was set, but I just decide not to. I just, like, decide to wait and, like, oh, I'll just draw Caius or something, you know, and then we'll <laughs> then we'll be chilling, but then, like, I just, it just doesn't happen. Um, so I end up using two books on his Titanial, and then I do rip an out, so kind of rewarded for my stupidity, but uh, it is what it is. It probably would have been forgivable, maybe, if I had just, like, negated the mind control here, but for some reason I let him do it, and then he just, like, walls behind AFD, and this becomes a way longer game than it needed to be. <laughs> so, kind of multiple throws on my part in this game number one. And, he, man, he could have just booked and outed my Plasma. I feel like he really misplayed because he had several opportunities to out Plasma. And he just decided he didn't feel like it. I, I don't know. I, I think I think we would probably just, like... We're probably just winning this game so long as Plasma's on the field. Uh, is, is my sort of take. So I don't know why he let us keep it for so long. Here we use Dasher to special out the... The guy, go for Nitro Warrior, and then just, you know, that's game over. So, go into game two. Game two, I think I maybe shouldn't have lured this early. Because having your Plague Banished kind of isn't the best. There's no, like, Burial or, or Return in this deck. Um, return is, like, some people message me saying they want 
they think return would be good in here but honestly it's just so slow and so br so bricky like it looks great when you see these games that go long as shit and it's like oh there's like eight banished guys but <laughs> you know a lot of times return is just dead like unless you're drawing it in some late game stalemate situation like that it's just not very good in here unfortunately you just don't fill up your banished pile fast enough like it takes a long long ass time to actually have a good return in this deck um, so here I get a kind of value mirror force. Uh, he just gets another tomato. I decide I'm gonna like get rid of this titanium. Like I just want it gone. So go for the plasma. He makes a super throw here by tribute. Well, I don't know if he planned it this way, but I think it was the wrong play anyway. He probably should have just tributed the titanium because like he lost two other cards. So I don't know. It was just like very neggy in my opinion. Um, we got a nice little infernal prodigy play here to get the plus one. Or not the plus one, well, you know, to get the end phase draw. I, I get greedy in Book of Moon here, but then I just ripped Dad, which was very good. I probably should have attributed the Mali, though, because it ends up getting banished, and then it becomes a real issue. So he's going to pop stuff and then banish my Malicious, which is kind of irritating. But then I top deck Dandelion, because we're just sacking Maki at this point. Uh, we go for the Caius... He makes a kind of greedy play next turn, I think, where he top decks to Breed Dragon, which, by the way, very good top deck. And then he goes for Black Rose and doesn't pop the field. He decides to just keep it because he wants to tribute that Titanial. Uh, and if you haven't noticed, Maki plays two Titanial because he's freaking crazy. But, yeah, I just go tribute for Kaius to for the burn damage next turn and end up winning the game because of that. So, anyway, those were some interesting matches. Uh, definitely, like I said, not playing the deck particularly well at the moment, but that's what practice is for. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, become a member, share the video, all of that stuff. I'll see you tomorrow.